put in a silent mood your mobile phones during the Holy Mass to avoid distraction. In this Holy Mass... In this Holy Mass, we pray for the following intentions for Thanksgiving. Sister Ireland Fran and family, Judeline Iron, Salbi Paglinawan and family, Priscilla Ringor and family, Joy Ann Luis Satera, Mr. and Mrs. Bonifacio P. Benito and family, Irenea Alet, Melody de la Peña, and Guillermo and Rita Abilado and family. We pray also for the birthdays of Marvin Fran, Judeline Iron, Rebecca Topinio, Perfecto Topinio, Joy Ann Luis Satera, and Maria Lorna Moke. We pray also for the thanksgiving of Papilota family. And for the special intention, Jerome Vicentico and relatives, Julia Canonego and Joan Ichalar. Rosano family, Keiki and Catherine Wong, Losi Goan, Susan Galon, Yvonne Choi and family, Florivic Ivanez, Marby Crisio, Liti Werner, and Mar Malu Lavares. We pray for the healing of Dolores Macapagal for the, and also for the fast recovery. Maria Glenda Ab Ablanida for the total healing of Avery and Dagan. Samuel Makarat, Caroline Chan, Leong Ching Ye, and for the fast recovery of Teresa Acosta. We pray for the souls of Eliseo Riccio, Lilia Sabando, Ima Valdez, Faustino Olfendo, Joel Olfendo, Rosa Miko, Juan Miko, Josefina Asada, Mariano Olfindo, Veronica Olfindo, Constantino Olfindo, Amelia Olfindo Noto, Virginia Miko, Margarita Miko, Candido Ichalar, Lilia Ichalar. Also for the soul of Isabina Fondadera, Lorena Macapagal, Norma Dalumbal, Tudoro Dalumbal, Elesia Alforque, Eduardo Oraa, Roberto Alforque, Rogelio Alforque, Cristina Alforque, Rinsi Mar Bautista, Romeo Bautista, Augusto Pagal, Jumal Jumai Brian Acosta, Imiterio Iran, Jerry Iran, Mercedes Veloria, Almario Iran, Enrique Veloria, Edita Rabanal, Romeo Veloria, Marilo Pitugo, Marcos Pitogo, Mary Grace Pitogo, Clito Rama, Bernardo Rama, Judy Rama, Candida Likudan, Emilia, Emiliano Viernes, Elpidio Aban, Marieta Oseta, Susidad Coquiao, Merlita Loquiao, Fernan, Fermin Pastrana, Felix and Leonila Macali, Isagani Domingo, Teresa Bermay, Erinio Dilig, Gemma Acosta, Wilfreda Opose, Felix Bernoy, Desiderio Morquette, 
Federico Real and Florentina Real. Also for the soul of Pedro Valerete, Villa Villosa. Also, we pray also for the souls of Vivian Abelado and Kai Ching Ha. May the Lord forgive the, their transgressions and bring them to eternal paradise. Today is the 16th week in ordinary time. In today's gospel, Jesus explained to us the details about the parable of the sower. He wants us to become the rich soil where the seed, where, which is the word of God, is sown and produced more yield as the Heavenly Father wants. It is a heart that knows God, loves Him, serves Him, and praises Him. Let us try to look at our hearts today does the word of God grow there? Let us strive to commit ourselves to become a rich soil that bear good fruits in a hundred folds. <laughs> Our mass presider for today is Brother J. Frances Blandes. This year we celebrate the year of St. Joseph, patron of the Universal Church. Let us all stand and ask the intercession of St. Joseph, our patron, our companion, and guide as migrants. We pray together. O glorious St. Joseph, faithful followers of Jesus Christ, to you do I raise my heart and hands to implore your powerful intercession in obtaining from the kind of heart of Jesus all the help and graces necessary for my spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death, and a special favor I now implore. O glorious Saint Joseph, through the love that you did bear for Jesus Christ and for the glory of his holy name, Dying to hear my prayer and obtain for me my petition. O Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, come to my assistance. Amen. pray for the birthday of Ruth Rizardo, Ruena Ibarra, Liwayway Campus, and also for the intention thanksgiving of Risa, uh, Risa and Molina family, Vilma Mascariola, Josephine Abalayan, and also for the thanksgiving of Marilyn Harjo, and also we pray for the healing of Tina Chow, and for the souls of Ilpidio Aban, Joseph Mayola, Felix and Yunila Makale, Angela Caballo, Alet Caballo. Let us glorify the Holy Triune God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In today's first reading, Yahweh. God gave the commandments to the Israelites. The commandment is to guide the community. The commandment is the covenant of the Israelite and Yahweh, God, who liberated them from Egypt. So the more you observe the commandment, the more we thank the Lord, we praise the Lord, for through the commandments of the Lord, God will liberate us. For us to be worthy in this Holy Mass, we now acknowledge our sins, our failures, 
and we ask God's mercy and pardon. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us all be seated and listen attentively to the Word of God. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, God delivered all these commandments. I, the Lord, am your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery. You shall not have other gods beside me. You shall not carve idols for yourselves. In the shape of anything in the sky above, or on the earth below, or in the waters beneath the earth. You shall not bow down before them or worship them, for I, the Lord, your God, am a jealous God, inflicting punishment for their father's wickedness on the children of those who hate me, down to the third and fourth generations but bestowing mercy down to the thousand generation on the children of those who love me and kept my commandments. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not leave unpunished him who takes his name in vain. Remember to keep holy the Sabbath day. Six days you may labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. No, your work may be done then either by you or your son or daughter, or your male or female slave, or your beast, or by the alien who lives with you. In six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them. But on the seventh day he rested. That is why the Lord has blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Honor your father and your mother, that you may have a long life in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not commit your neighbor's house. You shall not commit your neighbor's wife nor his male or female slave, nor his ox or ass, nor anything else that belongs to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response or your psalm, let our response be. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. To love the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Response. The Lord have the words of your everlasting life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Response. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. 
the ordinances of the Lord are true. All of them just response. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. Response. Lord, you have the words of everlasting life. Let us all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. a generous heart and yield the harvest through perseverance. of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Hear the parable of the sower. The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it. And the evil one comes and steals away what was sown in his heart. The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy. But he has, he has no root and lasts only for a time. When some tribulations or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. The seed sown among thorns is the one who hears the word. But then worldly anxiety and the lure of riches choke the word and it bears no fruit. But the seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have a saying that says, Listening is the beginning of understanding. No? Listening is the beginning. If we listen, we understand. The gospel today, this is the explanation of the parable. At least, I think the gospel last Wednesday, the parable of the sower. So this is the explanation. The seed is the word of God. No? And, the, uh, and the places like the path, the rocky road, the sturdy places or the good soil, these are the different people who welcome the word of God. According to the gospel, there are some people who listen to the word of God, but without understanding. No? So, there are people like on the path. No? So, some of us, for us sometimes, we are here, we listen to the first reading, second reading, but after the mass, we forget no? the, the reading. So, how can we understand how can we live the word of God if we do not remember or put it in our minds, in our hearts? No? So parang sabi dito sa Evangelio, we are like in those seeds sown on the path, yung nahuhulog sa daan. Tumubo din, sandali lang. Pero nakalimutan din. Naalala niyo ba yung first reading last Friday? Oh, ganun din, nakalimutan. Okay, so... Yung iba naman, here in the gospel it says, some seeds like on the rocky ground. Hears it, receive it with joy. But because of the persecution, because of the word, it falls away. So you, you listen it, you hear the word of God, but because of maybe trials, because of maybe problems in our work, in our family, we forget the word. No? We focus on the problem no longer on the word of God. Okay? And some seeds, do, those are sown on the nahulog sa thorny bushes, no? thorny places. Hear the word of God, 
but because of worldly anxiety, meaning because become so materialistic that the Word of God has no place to grow in our hearts. No? So much materialism, nakalimutan na ang salita ng Diyos. Nakafocus sa mga material na bagay. Pero yung salita ng Diyos, nakalimutan. Pero pag may bagong cellphone, mga application sa Facebook, talagang expert. Pero pag salita ng Diyos, hindi nakalimutan. So, so yun ang sabi dito, that those people who listen to the Word of God, but yung puso nila, doon pa rin sa material na bagay. So walang space ang salita ng Diyos to grow in our hearts. But the one who is sown on the good soil, then it says, hears the Word and understands it, bear fruit, no? 60 fold. Meaning, the challenge in the Gospel is to listen, to hear the Word of God and understand it. Not only to listen, but to understand. No? Sometimes we listen, but we do not understand. Before, when I was in the, my former parish, especially during Christmas or uh, Holy Week, no? we have special masses, right? Mga special, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, special liturgy, lit misa natin. I announce our mass, Uh, for this uh, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, this time. No? In-announce yan. Maya-maya, after two days, daming tawag sa opisina. Father, anong oras ba yung Holy Mass? At, oh. Parang ganito rin tayo. May announce Maya-maya naman, magtatanong. In-announce na nga. Okay? ba diba? In the Philippines, meron nga tayong tawag sa pag may kinakasal. No? Ilang announce pa yan. No? Yung iba, hindi nakikinig. No? Girlfriend pala niya, kinakasal na. <laughs> hindi, hindi, oh, hindi nakikinig. Okay, so here, Jesus is reminding us no, that in order the Word of God to prosper, we have to listen, to hear, and understand the Word of God. But sometimes, there are blocks of hearing in order to understand. That's why lack of faith. We do not put faith on the Word of Jesus, no? Sometimes if, if sometimes we believe on other things rather than the Word of God. Sometimes you believe mga chismis rather than the Word of God. So how can the Word of God grow in us? No? If it is the Word of God, it is God Himself telling us, then we have to practice it. Because when we live the Word of God, there is a promise. Remember in the last part of the Gospel? who indeed bears fruit, yields 100 or 60 or 30 fold. Those who listen, those who believe the Word of God, those who apply, practice the Word of God, there is a promise of prosperity. Okay? Because here, 100, 60 or 30 fold. But sometimes, we do not practice the Word of God, we do not believe the Word of God, then how can the Word of God, how can we experience the miracles of the Lord. How can we experience the blessing of the Lord if we do not believe the Word of God? Okay? It is Jesus Himself. When Jesus is telling us, then we have to believe it and practice it. Not only just to believe, we have to live it in our lives. That's why here, believe the Word of Jesus because Jesus will fulfill His promise. That's why that is the secret of prosperity. The secret of prosperity to believe the Word of God, to live the Word of God, and God will bless us. Okay? Here also in the first reading, do you remember what is the first reading today? Hmm. Ano yung first reading? About Ten Commandments, right? Hmm. So ilan yung Ten Commandments? Yeah. Ten? Good! <laughs> hmm. Okay, so about the commandments, no? So the commandments was given to the people not no not to burden them but to give them freedom okay be that's why they have the commandments in order for them to be free just imagine if we don't have laws here maybe we are, it is a burden for us but because of law we are protected okay imagine pag walang batas no maraming kaso for us at yung mga kababayan kung walang batas logi tayo But because of law, we are protected. So here, the commandments of the Lord is given to the Israelites in order for them to become free. That's why the more we obey 
the more we follow the commandments of the Lord, the more we will experience freedom. That's why there is freedom in the family, in the community, because we obey the commandments of the Lord. It is not burdensome. Huh? It is not to burden us, but to give us freedom, harmony in our community living. Okay? That it is, so that is a covenant, our relationship with the Lord. That's why the more I follow the commandments of the Lord, the more I show my love to the Lord. Okay? Not only just uh, you know, worshiping, but we do not obey. But the more I obey, the more I love the Lord. No, the more I worship the Lord in uh, obeying His commandments. No? So the commandment, it is a covenant expression. It is our relationship with the Lord. That uh, God is our creator, uh, is our savior. That the more we observe, that is our relationship. Meron tayong ugnayan with the Lord. Through the commandments. No? And so, the gospel today reminds us, challenges us to listen and understand the word of God. Remember, it says, the one who hears the word and understands it. No? Listen to the, listen, hear the word. You know, sometimes in our relationship, we fight one another no? because of community, not because of the word. Sometimes because the tone, no? yung tono ng pagsasalita. Hindi naman yung word, di ba? Pag hindi ka nakikinig sa word, nakikinig ka lang sa tono ng pagsasalita, sometimes it destroy relationship. Kasi may mga tao talaga, pag nagsasalita, yung paragang rough yung kuhan, pero sa kanila, wala lang yon. But that's why we listen to the word, not to the tone or the, yung paano niya pagbigkas, but listen to the word of God and understand it. Okay? So Jesus is reminding us listen to the word and understand meaning to understand anong function sa katawan natin in order to understand anong part bahagi ng katawan? The brain, right? Okay? Meaning we have to understand it. Okay? Not only just emotion, huh? but to understand it when there, un there is understanding you know it, there is transformation you know it. No? There is conversion of mind and heart. So we are not only converted by the word, by our emotion, but converted through the mind. Conversion of mind brings us devotion. Now I love the word of God because I understand the word of God. Now because I understand the word of God, then I have to read the word of God every day no? because I understand it. I, I love it. Okay? But if we do not understand, sometimes difficult to read. Diba? Pag hindi mo intindihan, hindi mo gagawin yun. Okay? So that is the challenge for us to read the Word of God. Pray over the Holy Spirit to, so that we can understand the Word of God and live the Word of God. And there is a promise for that, living the Word of God. Jesus said, who indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Amen. Let us pray to the Father in heaven that people may listen to his mighty word so that it may bear fruit among us and let us say, Lord bless your people. Lord bless your people. That the people of God may be open to God's word and convey in it a language that people can understand. We pray. Lord bless your people that those in public office may render their service with honesty and integrity and that they may acknowledge the ways of God for peace and prosperity, we pray. Lord bless your people. That farmers and those who are into agriculture may be blessed with God, weather and bountifully harvest, we pray. Lord bless your people. We pray for the victims of natural calamities. May they be comforted by our prayers and support. We pray. Lord, Lord bless, bless your, your people. people. We pray for all OFWs, migrants, and refugees that despite of the distance from their loved ones, they may be faithful and committed to their families. 
we pray. Lord, Lord bless your, your people. people. We pray for our country that as we celebrate 500 years of Christianity, may we may passionate in sharing our faith and love to others. We pray. Lord, bless your people. In silence, we pray for our personal intention. We pray. Lord, bless your people. Lord God, speak your word to us and make us listen to it. May it bear the fruit of Christian living in us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, mother, brothers, and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the, or in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants, and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is only right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for just as through your beloved son you created the human race so also through him with great goodness you form it and you and so it is right that all your creatures serve you all the redeemed praise you and all your saints with one heart bless you therefore we to extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray By sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall So that they may become for us The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ At the time he was betrayed And entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you
In the similar way when supper was ended He took the chalice And once more giving thanks He gave it to His disciples saying Take this all of you and drink from it For this is the chalice of my blood The blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Cardinal John Tong, our Apostolic Administrator, Stephen, our Bishop-elect, all bishops, clergy, religious, and all missionaries. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver us, us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
The Lord the gracious, the merciful has made a memorial of his wonders. He gives food to those who fear him. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and let those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for deliverance from the pandemic. O God, God you are the source of all goodness. We come to you to invoke your mercy. You have created the universe with harmony and beauty. Yet through our pride, we have disrupted the course of nature and brought about an ecological crisis which affects our health and the well-being of the human family. For this, we ask for your forgiveness. O God, look with pity on our plight, for we are in the midst of a new viral pandemic. May we experience again your fatherly care, restore order and harmony to nature, and recreate a new mind and heart in us, that we may look after our earth like a faithful steward. O God, we entrust to you all the sick and our families. May you bring healing to their body, mind, and spirit, enabling them to partake of the paschal mystery of your Son. Help all members of our society to play their proper rules and strengthen the spirit of solidarity among them. Sustain our frontline medical and healthcare workers, social workers and educators. Come especially to the aid of those in need of resources to safeguard their health. We believe that it is you who direct the course of human history and that your love can change our destiny for the better, whatever might be our human condition. Grant us steadfast faith to all Christians that even in the midst of fears and chaos, they may carry out the mission you have entrusted to them. O oh God, bless our human family abundantly and dispel from us all evil. Deliver us from the pandemic that is afflicting us, so that we may praise and thank you with renewed hearts. For you are the soul of our life, with your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in unity of the Holy Spirit, you live and reign, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the Holy Souls. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, for those in my own home and in my family. Amen. Announcement. In behalf of El Sinai community, we would like to invite you to all you join the fellowship right after the Holy Mass. Stay with us and be blessed by the word of God and experience God's healing power and providence. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down your heads for God's blessing. In defense of your children, O Lord, we pray, stretch forth the right hand of your majesty so that obeying your fatherly will, they may have the unfailing protection of your fatherly care through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God be upon you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go to love God and serve our brothers and sisters. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
a day of celebration. This is the day of celebration. This is the day to be joy. Rejoice! The Lord our God is our deliverer. So let's just praise His name. 